What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast here on YouTube. And uh, Hopefully the thumbnail ends up being this. I really want it to be. I might make it back just to where people bitch and call it quick Vegas. It is. You're going to think this is a little too full truth, man, baby. And that's a great film, and that's what I kind of want to talk about a little bit here. But what I want to talk about is kind of... <clears throat> trying to think my way of replicating the video store experience for me. Because back in the day, the video store experience was... I didn't get to go every weekend. We had a VCR early on. I mean, I'm talking... We had a VCR back... We had a Betamax VCR back in the 70s. And we got a VHS in like 81, 82-ish? 80, somewhere around there? Like, my dad started noticing real quick that the rental store... So that's mostly... we. we we got it every once in a while, and then like for them to record like the miniseries, like Thornbirds, Roots, shit like that. They could record it, have it on tape, and watch it when they wanted to. Not have to oh, we watch it every night, every night, every night. Uh, when they got the VHS, because when they got the VHS, the beta got moved in my room. It stayed there for years and years. But we go to the video store. And I get to rent you. Know, usually, uh, until video games started, I could rent three movies. And they'd usually get two or three themselves. And, yeah, I would rent Beta and VHS because, hell, by the time I was eight or nine, my parents went to bed at 10 o'clock. Well, if I wanted to stay up and watch a movie, I'd go to bed. I was good as long as I went to bed. They pretty much did because I was a kid. It was easy to get up in the morning. No, no, hey, get up. I'll pop up. Hey, I'm awake. So they were cool about that. So you would go, and once you rented all the shit you'd see, like all your Friday 13, all your number on Elm Street. So I'm talking about, you know, I was, whenever, let's say Manhattan, because I remember seeing Manhattan Baby on the damn shelf. That's why I picked this. Like, this. ooh, Manhattan Baby, is that? Okay, I'll try that, grab it. Hell, man, maybe it's like, it's alive. That'll be cool. And you're watching going, what the hell did I just watch? It blew your mind. That's the kind of stuff that now is flooding I see them at, uh, mostly at my Walmart and my Dollar Trees. Like, about a year or so after they come out, you can get them for a buck at Dollar Tree if you manage to hit when they open up a bin, my Dollar Tree. The one outside my town, there's one a little bit further away. Like, it seems like people don't ruffle through this stuff as quick. But Walmart usually has them there about five to ten bucks a pop. My bloody birthday. And what I don't get is some of the people that are my age, a little bit younger, that love shit like Manhattan Baby shitting on. This makes as much sense as Manhattan Baby does. It really does. And my, I've watched both multiple times. They both make about the same amount of sense. They both have that weird... Because I remember, it's Manhattan, Manhattan Baby's dubbed, isn't it? And they're like an English dub. This is in English, but you can tell people were speaking it like they, that's not their first language. or speaking it phonetically in some cases. But it's got that weird dream, you know, you don't know what the fuck's going on. But that was part of the fun of the shit back there. And they're both Euro horror. That's my big thing. I love me some Euro horror. These are both... This is a decent example of modern Euro horror. That's going to be skipped because, you know, you're walking through whatever store you see. That cover, that cover looks kind of cool. So then, you know, okay, well, let's look, let's look in the cover. Saying that's kind of lazy. You know, okay, he's ready to give you a slice. Okay. After a traumatic childhood birthday party, Emma chose never to celebrate again. A restaurant breaks the rules and throws a party, unaware of the awakening horrors which for years have been waiting for waiting in the darkness. And that's all you got. There's on the back of this. Of course, you got a lot more because this is a later release. But they make about the same amount of sense. It's just this is Spanish, if I remember right. This is Italian. But I mean, it's Italian. So I mean, who knows who else? What other countries help work on it? But it's on their shit. But the difference is. This has been out forever. It's time for nostalgia on. Because you go back and watch this. Manhattan Baby is... It's gory as fuck. It makes no damn sense, really. But it's a fun little thing to watch. My bloody birthday. Gory as fuck. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's a fun thing to watch. That's why I don't get the people that shit on I, Some of them are bad. I'll bet there's like... God. I got, I got one called Jurassic Hotel. It's horrible. But there are back then. I mean, there was shit like... Uh, Oh, God, was it the Werewolf versus the Vampire Women cut of, uh, what is that? That's uh, Paul Nashie's, is that Werewolf Shadow? Like, that cut's horrible. Or there's some other, you know, some like, I, I, I know people love it. I cannot get into Grave of the Vampire. There's some old Euro that ain't great, but you know, for the modern shit, there is some, the trick to it is, I've learned now, is go read reviews thoroughly. 
you know, trust one person. You read a couple other people. Number two, look on Tubi. A lot of these pop up on Tubi within like five, six weeks of them hitting the shelves by me. If I, I'm glad I bought this one. There's other ones I bought like Easter Bunny Massacre. Oh God, that was UK though. Uh, uh, the one and the one that, the one that made me nickname the company put that this is Anchor Bay. This is ITM, which I've I don't remember exactly what it stands for. I call it the International Turd Network. Almost every film we get from is uh, you know not made over here in the states. I mean Canada usually it's just like UK, Spain, something like that, and they're usually turds. Like the one I've referenced a couple times I got from it is a uh, Jurassic. Hotel, if I remember right. And this is one of those where, oh, buddy, a bunch of like stuff in celebration of uh, uh, bu- 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 the lat was it Jurassic World Dominion. Cody, correct me, please. Thank you. Whatever the last one was, that second trilogy. Hello, I'll, I'll get this, you know, and I'll watch it, and I'll be kind of like Jurassic Park thing, and I didn't watch it, and ended up with it for like. A 31 Days of October thing on the blog over there. www.doubletsblogreviews.blogspot.com uh, It's horrible. This is not bad. This was worth, uh, this one was probably $5. Okay, if you find it for a dollar, definitely worth it. But go watch, and it is on Tubi. Go watch this shit on Tubi. And My Bloody Birthday is not the original name. The original name is like the Clownerine or something. It's like, it's not a good day. My Bloody Birthday is not the best name, but it's better than its original, but Watch Manhattan, maybe too. Anyway, I'm out. Laters.